On this episode of Tech Help, we will be taking a detailed look at the newest version of the Nissan Connect system, as shown in a 2017 Nissan Maxima and Murano. We will be covering all the features of the Nissan Connect system, and feel free to skip around to any part that is of particular interest to you. Let's get started. The Nissan Connect system is pretty easy to use since it utilizes both physical and touch controls. On the side of the screen you see physical buttons for menu, map, day-night mode, audio, volume, tune, skip, and a handy back button. On the bottom you have an omnipresent toolbar for quick access to each of the system sections. On the Maxima you also get a controller knob that you can use instead of the touchscreen. For now however this is exclusive to the Maxima. We will start out on the home screen, which consists of several pages of customizable widgets and shortcut icons. You can click on these widgets or icons to go to that particular app. The home screen is fully customizable by hitting the edit app. You can easily delete and add whatever you like, and it is a very simple and easy to use interface. In addition to app shortcuts, you also get widgets. You can add 5 day weather forecast widgets or your choice of a digital or analog clock. Overall, the system's home screen setup is very slick, and the high customizability is very similar to an Android smartphone, so it will feel familiar to a lot of you. To go into the audio, just hit the physical button or the one in the toolbar. I currently have my phone connected through the standard Bluetooth, and can play, pause, or skip songs straight from here. Certain phones will also allow you to browse your music collection from here. In the sources, you will see several sources including AM, FM, XM, CD, USB, iPod, Bluetooth, and AUX. The radio screen looks a lot like the Bluetooth one, except you have a nice list of presets at the bottom of the screen. You even get a small thumbnail picture for the satellite stations. From the satellite menu, you can look at genres, customize your channel list, and more. From genres, you can scroll between many different channels to quickly find what type of music you are looking for. A 90-day XM radio trial is included with all new Nissan purchases. From FM radio, you'll see mainly the same stuff as seen in the satellite radio, and you have a large list of presets at the bottom. You can also tag up to 50 different radio stations from here. Next let's head into the phone section. Quick Dial allows you to set some of your contacts or people from your call history to be on this list of speed dials. Okay. You also have a phone book. You can just scroll through all your contacts to find a person here. A listed holder. You can also quick jump to certain letters. Home. These contacts automatically sync over from your connected smartphone and refresh each time you enter the vehicle. There is a traditional dial pad here for quickly dialing new numbers as well. It is also very easy to place a phone call with voice controls. Please say a command. Phone. Phone. Please say or select a command. Call Mason Cell. Calling Mason Cell. You also have text message support which can read incoming messages aloud to you. Mason Cell. July 29th, 9.53 a.m. Hey guys. Thanks for watching this detail review on the 2017 Nissan Maxima Platinum. Please like and subscribe. And then allows you to call back or respond with a list of pre-made quick messages. You can use one of the pre-made quick messages or reply with a custom message. You can add custom messages from the settings as you will see later. From here you'll see your phone volume settings. You can adjust the ringtone volume, incoming and outcoming call volume to your personal liking. That's pretty much all of the major phone functions, so let's go ahead and hop into the info section. 
This section is basically a cumulative list of all the apps you can use. Nissan Connect apps are part of the Connect Services suite, which requires a subscription after the six-month trial period. This suite of apps includes many unique features and services, and can be had in three different plans. To start, you have the basic plan for $11.99 a month, which includes automatic collision notification, emergency calling, roadside assistance, stolen vehicle locator, maintenance alert, and a vehicle health report. If you step up to the premium plan for $19.99 a month, you get remote app functions like locking and unlocking your car, remote engine start, flashing your headlights, as well as teen driver safety functions like boundary, curfew, and speed alerts. The top plan, called Premium Plus, will get everything included in the lower plans, plus some apps powered by Sirius for $24.99. You get Google Send to Car, Connected Search, Assisted Search, Destination Download, and Journey Planner. A six-month trial period of the Premium Plus plan is included. Connect to Information Center. Also included is a cluster of satellite radio powered apps. One of the most useful is the weather app which has a 5 day forecast and a live weather map. The system will also notify you of weather warnings automatically. You do also get traffic which will display a list of traffic events going on in your area such as construction, car accidents, or closures. The other very useful app is Fuel Prices. You can see nearby stations and their prices. Just click on these places to begin navigating to them. Proceed to the highlighted route. Stocks, fuel prices, sports, and movie listings are also included. If you scroll over, you'll find a couple more apps like the new for 2017 Apple CarPlay. This system uses your USB connected iPhone 5 or newer to mirror useful features onto your car's screen. This is supposed to be less distracting because it closely resembles what you're used to on your phone. Some of the features you have are navigation, music, and Siri voice controls. Android Auto is not yet available, though Nissan said it will add this in the future. Next, let's check out the map. If you click anywhere in the map, the toolbar will disappear. Moving around the map is very easy and intuitive. As you can see, there is no perceptible lag, something most rivals can't say about their systems. Pinch to zoom is also included. Pushing the menu button allows you to do certain things like search nearby POIs. You can search POIs based on categories like restaurants, gas stations, hotels, ATMs, and rest areas. You can click on these destinations to begin guidance to them. When navigating, a future turn list pops up. You can also edit the route or set preferences. The route types can choose between shortest miles and time. You can also easily cancel a route like that. The Navi section lets you set destinations. There are several ways you can do this, including manually like I'm doing now. You can also add addresses to the address book, or you can just do a search for a place. Searching is quite easy, though it does take a moment to connect. Connect to Information Center. You can also do voice commands for the navigation, and you can say the address in a single sentence. Please say a command. 
Navigation. Navigation. Please say a command. Street address. Street address. Please say the address. 3100 Hemingway Lane, Lexington, Kentucky. Three one zero zero Hemingway Lane, Lexington, Kentucky. Please say a command. Calculate route. Calculating route. Now let's take a look at the settings. Pretty much every feature of the infotainment and the vehicle itself is customizable through this section. From Bluetooth settings, you can easily pair new Bluetooth devices as well as select different devices for audio and phone. Finally, we will head into the very detailed settings section. Phone settings allow you to adjust things like what contacts you want on your quick dial list. You can also customize how you want your phone book to sync over from your smartphone. You can also customize small things like the ringtone and the auto reply. One nice thing is that you can create a custom reply message here, which will then be added to your quick message list. In navigation settings, you can do lots of stuff like add places to the address book. You can also add areas to avoid, which will route you around those areas when navigating. Map views does exactly what you would expect, and Nissan Connect does support 3D navigation. Heading into display settings, you can change various things such as brightness and contrast. You can also toggle between day and night mode manually here, or use the handy button. Sound settings are where you can personalize the sound profile to your personal liking. The system can also automatically increase the volume when the car is moving faster to compensate for the added noise. Voices and beeps gives you control over all the sound effects in your vehicle. You can even toggle on and off the touch sound effect. Of course, you've also got the regular stuff like clock adjustment. The clock should be able to auto set and change when entering new time zones. We've already been into the home screen editing. The final screen has a few more things like how much you want the car's voice controls to talk back to you. Well that's pretty much it for the Nissan Connect system. If you would like to check out other infotainment reviews from rival brands, then click on the Tech Out playlist card. Also be sure to check out our channel and subscribe to view Nissan full reviews and more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.